Hi, this is Bhaskar Dachapalli. I'm part of the uh, global account team at Intel, uh, leading Telco and Edge. Hi, my name is Sean Zakiuddin. I work uh, with Open RAN Solution Strategy at HP. Today, we will talk about uh, some of the, the challenges uh, customers are facing with respect to uh, VRAN uh, deployments. Um, the problem comprises of twofold. One is challenges in the hardware bomb and challenges in baseband disaggregation. From a choice perspective in the hardware, there are hardware, software, and firmware ingredients that are most complex for customers to choose. For example, from the hardware components point of view, there are several CPU SKUs, uh, Ethernet products, accelerators, etc. That's very difficult for, for customers to choose what are the right ingredients are. From a software perspective, there are OSs like Ubuntu, Red Hat, Linux, CentOS, and, and goes on. Then customers will have to evaluate the technology for performance and RAS, which is reliability, serviceability, and availability to ensure they're operational, followed by a deployment, which is based on total cost of ownership and support lifecycle of deployment. All of these not only lead to long implementation cycles, but significantly increases development costs, thus prolonging the path to revenue for customers. Well, when it comes to baseband disaggregation, uh, we have to understand where customers are coming from a little bit, right? They're, um, they're used to deploying uh, basebands as, as uh, appliances. Um, now what we're uh, moving towards is deploying um, uh, VRAN workloads on a on an x86 platform. So some of the obvious questions that uh, we need to answer and we need to help customers understand is, you know, what, what kind of performance can they uh, can they expect? What kind of um, cloud models uh, do they need to be able to run uh, VRAN workloads? Uh, what kind of driver and runtime libraries are required? Uh, what flavor of operating systems uh, and, and you know their configurations are required? Uh, lastly, uh, but not you know not the least important here is also understanding and giving customers uh, a good understanding of you know what kind of hardware configurations are actually needed when it comes to uh, deploying the VDU server at the cell site. So with all the challenges that we face, both from a hardware bomb perspective, as well as the uh, baseband disaggregation perspective, together with HPE, we have built a foundational, a verified uh, platform configurations for VRAN workloads. The VRAN uh, verified reference configuration is hardened from a hardware bomb perspective, which would really mean a physical resources for a CU and DU components. We actually perform uh, verification and integration of hardware, software, and firmware ingredients. Uh, this will allow us to screen potential issues reaching customers, uh, which uh, further closes the gaps between the discrete ingredients to consume the Intel technologies. Moreover, this removes the guesswork from the ISVs and partners in choosing the right hardware ingredients and bomb. Like Shams mentioned, customers are really challenged and with respect to this uh, baseband disaggregation, mainly because they're moving from a traditional appliance model to a disaggregated model, which would require further collaboration with a partnership like HPE, uh, which results in accelerating the time to deployment for customers, maximizing the platform value. Shams, you may want to comment on some of the feedback that you're hearing from customers with our collaboration on the VRAN VRC. Absolutely, um, uh, Vasker. We have been sharing some of the early results of the VRC with customers and, and uh, we've been getting a lot of positive feedback, especially when it comes to um, uh, de-risking a lot of these uh, question marks for customers. The way they're looking at it, especially when we share the verified hardware recipes, the, uh, the verified uh, uh, firmware settings, operating system environment uh, settings, uh, all of these. And then the most importantly, when we share the performance results that we uh, we have been gathering from the VRC, uh, customers are really seeing the value of the program and the fact that we're trying to de-risk uh, baseband disaggregation for them. 
uh, there's a lot of positive acknowledgement. Of course, going forward, they want to continue to see this uh, from us. Um, so, and you know, most of them are eagerly waiting for us to share more details uh, from this program. Um, a lot of satisfaction from the early, um, early uh, customer engagements and the sh results that we've sh shared so far. In conclusion, we strongly recommend that you reach out to your Intel and HPE partners to learn more about what we're doing together to accelerate the network transformation and move the operators to 5G. Thank you. Thank you.